Okay. There's this important thing that I want us to talk about. Um, Advocate Mgomezulu being threatened. Uh, Advocate Mgomezulu is going through a lot. Um, after what he has done, we know that uh, there were people that uh, were broke into his house. Um, you know what? You know what? This is very dangerous. When you place yourself in a dangerous position like when Chikotwala did, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't understand. Chikotwala is now a suspect in this thing. Why? Because of how, you know, some people don't know. They don't even have a timing to begin with. Uh, let, 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 let's get into this one. Uh, let me read this one so that you can understand where we are. The presiding judge in the Senzo Meiwa Meda case, Judge Ratamo Kwatleng, uh, sorry, I'm not a judge Ratamo Kwatleng, has taken a decisive action to ensure the safety of advocate Tulanem Gomezulu. This is amid concerns of intimidation and uh, potential harm. Uh, the decision came after Mgomezulu reported uh, a, 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 look, a, a ceiling incident uh, on the judge on Wednesday. The court heard that two unidentified individuals attempted to gain entry into um, uh, the resident earlier in the morning. Fortunately, Mgomezulu was alerted to the uh, local presence of this uh, baking of this uh, dog, uh, to the presence by the backing of these dogs uh, and all the stuff. And then obviously he avoided that situation. Um, it appears that here are people who visited his home in the morning. Fortunately, when they wanted to enter the premises, Mr. Mgomezulu, uh, the dog Park and uh, yeah, that's what Judge Ratamo Hatlang he says. He suspects they were out of look, they were out to harm, injure or to kill him because of look, because uh, because this is what happened in South Africa, uh, and so and 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 and, and. now uh, uh, I'm gonna take you into confidence as to why is why am I going through all this and they're mentioning the name of Chico Twala along right. First of all, Chikotwala unprovoked, he goes to uh, Kaya News. He makes some allegation and telling us that uh, our advocate Mgomezulu is incompetent. And I sat there and I asked myself a question, who is incompetent between Chikotwala and advocate Mgomezulu? I doubt it is advocate Mgomezulu. Um, he goes there and he says to us, Senzo Mayewa doesn't, like, doesn't want the truth. I'm sorry, Sviso Mewa doesn't like the truth. The truth has been look the truth has been told in court. And I ask myself which truth has been presented in court because there's no truth that has been presented in that court. Please don't lie to us. But I will go through that. I'll also show you uh that as well from Mgomezulu's side. I, f I think I had two uh, two of these interviews, right? I'll start with the Chico and the one of Mgomezulu, right? Uh but before I do that, I put it to you that you do the following. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay now i'm um, leading to the to indabaga chico i will listen to what chico has got to say shortly now uh, I'm, 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 I'm finding this, look, look, I'm finding what Chico has said very disturbing, right? It makes him a suspect in this allegedly, um, whether he intended that or not, but I think it lacks timing, it lacks everything, right? We know that he's powerful, uh, in, in, look, look, in a, in a manner that he is, um, and yeah, we know the things that he does, things that are not supposed to be known by the light, you know what I'm saying? Or things that are not supposed to come to the light, uh, right? They are allegedly, but here's the, here's the thing, right? Uh, you know, I think 
he should wait for your turn. He should have explained a lot of things in court because he's coming to court. You can't go to news and say things and then look subsequent to that and then there are coincidences such as two people breaking into Advocate Mgomezulu's house. How are we supposed to think, allegedly? How are we supposed to look at this, right? And are we supposed to feel comfortable or are we supposed to do what, right? Uh, we are you're opposing or you are forcing us to think of uh, certain things in a very uncomfortable way, right? And we are, we are forcing us to view things in a very different light. And I don't know if you will love us to view things in that light. Now, uh, like I said, that leading to what Chico Tola has got to say. I'm sure you are wondering, Bongani, we hear you saying whatever you have said now, but the question is that what has the man said? Right. Okay. That is exactly what I am now uh, going to play to you. Right. I want you to listen very carefully and attentive, attentively at what Chico Tola has got to say. When you're done, then I'll look, we'll move to the one of Mgomezulu. So let's start with Chico Tola's uh, conversation. Take a look at this. Those incompetent, uh... That incompetent lawyer, uh, Ngomezu, I'm sorry to say that because for me, uh, he's a very incompetent person because he took a story from uh, Senzo's brother uh, and then just uh, go to court and tell the court what he was told by Spiso Meiwa. Uh, Spiso Meiwa is one person who does not want justice for his brother. I mean, uh, there are more than, I don't know how many police came to testify there you know, about his brother. Instead of looking at the facts, looking at the weapon that killed his brother, one of the accused, I mean, was arrested with the same weapon that killed his brother. He does not even care about that. Having done that, now we are about to move to Mgomezulu. So Mgomezulu reported this, and he's not pleased with the fact that Uche Kotwala went into, went and look, and, and he did an interview at, um, uh, at the very same thing, mentioning him as incompetent. Uh, I find it very weird as well that you mention who oh, advocate Mgomezulu as incompetent and as well. You see, let me tell you this, guys. Whosoever is being hated by the, the group of Kelikumalo and Chikotwala, it shows that that person is a person that we, all of us, we must love, right? If they hate Mgomezulu, we must love Mgomezulu. If they hate Teles, we, look, look, Teles, look, the, the, the woman who's working in the police, we must love Teles. If they hate, um, if they hate, uh, Makub, we must love Makub. Everybody that is hated by Abu Zand, Abu, 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 look, everybody, like, all this group, whosoever is hated by them, that person, we must truly love that person. It means that that person is on the side of the truth, right? Uh, if they hate, Hate Abu Advocate therefore. We must love Abu Advocate therefore. Because they never hate people who speak the truth. They always happen to hate people who, who, who hate the truth. But take a look at what Advocate Mgomezulu has got to say here. My Lord, uh, <clears throat> seven o'clock last evening, yeah. uh, Kai FM interviewed uh, Chico Tuala, who dis- whom they were discussing about the evidence of uh, Sefiso Meiwa. Mm. And that's when he also challenged my uh, competency. He said, I lack competency and I don't know why I might throw him into this court. Okay. Yeah, but I can't comment on that. That's why, my Lord. I said, let me put it on record yeah. that Chico Twala said this yesterday yeah. in the morning. It was also reported. Okay, now that we are done with Umgo Mezulu, let's move to something else now. So, um, like I was saying, yeah, guys, everybody that is hated by them, we must love because they never love people who are speaking the truth. They always happens to hate people who are lying. For instance, you can't tell me that uh, Sviso Meiwa must circle with the truth that has came out in court. Uh, you're saying that police have testified there are we supposed to believe them? Uh, is that the plan that we're supposed to believe them just because they are police? No. We, we do us, we, you know, we do ourselves a favor. We don't believe lies, right? We believe only the truth. We don't believe arrogant people. We only believe honest and, and, and look, an authentic people. We don't do that harm to ourselves. We only believe people that are there to tell the truth and the truth alone. That is exactly what we are known for, right? And that is exactly what we will 
constantly do in this YouTube, uh, look in this, look in this community. It's not even a YouTube channel. This is a community. In this community, that is something that we will constantly do. And that is to say, we will constantly, um, uh, favor and support people that are speaking the truth. There was a police that came to the, testify in the Senzo Meiwa case. If you remember him vividly, he works in, at 13, uh, 13 is where police kept, you know, look, will keep their, like, their exhibits such as your cars, your guns. That police, I just forgot the same name. I don't know why I forgot his same name. That, that's the honest police that we can believe. The rest of them, sorry. Zungu is number one liar in that case. Number one. I've never seen a guy that lies like Zungu. Zungu, he's a liar of not. And then there's Chico Twala on the other hand, asking us with a clean conscience. Then our conscience is not dead. Us. We've got, we have clean conscience. We don't believe lies. Lies. We dictate it from a distance and then we kick lies with both of our feet. We, when lies is coming this direction, we change the direction, we go that direction because Tina, Namanga, two different things, oil and water. So please, uh, you may have, you may try and find other people that can lie, but us, we don't lie. All the people that you want us to believe, they are liars of note.